Hey guys, D-Mike here with another episode of Super Nintendo Sundays. Some more Kirby's Dream Land 3. Hopefully everybody had an amazing holiday season. This is going up a little bit past the holidays, so welcome to 2022 everybody. I think that makes sense. Hopefully that's when this gets uploaded. If not, happy 2021, almost 2022, because I can't do math. Anyway, we're back with Kirby. We've ascended to level 3. The Sand Canyon. You definitely don't want to get sand in your canyon. That'd be unfortunate. These little intro cutscenes are pretty cute. I don't know if I've... Have I paid attention to these? I don't know. But anyway, I did a little bit of research and I kind of understand what, uh... What does that say? Pawn? Oh, pawn, that said porn con. My goodness. Uh, I kind of understand what these things are. So these, uh, little critters, the... The ones that you're, uh trying to help the ones that give you the little um the stars and stuff I don't know that I did a flame thing the stars thing not stars are hard whatever they are I don't know whatever the happy thanks for helping me thanks cannot talk um they're dependent on these little tasks that you can do and I look these up some of them I'm not gonna try to do it I'm just gonna try to like figure it out but I don't feel like there's a really good way to know how to do these things like the one that I'm about to show you I looked up the first three for today's episode just because I wanted to you know not be a complete ding-dong about it but there's I have no idea how you would ever know how to do this so in the case of this one I'll just explain it once I'm at the end of the level but no no way in my brain in my small smooth brain would I have ever figured out the solution to any of these? The only ones that make sense to me really are, this might be, oh, this is a, she's picking a friend, we'll go Rick. Rick. The only reason why I've gotten any of the friendship doodads, oh, I thought Rick had, Rick is not cat, I forgot, I thought he had a double jump, it's unfortunate. But anyway, the only reason why I figured out any of these is because of, oh, it's a cannon is because of the little mini games. Those ones are easy. It's like, hey, figure out where so-and-so jumped out of the, the, the who's my what's it. Like, that's easy. You can figure those ones out. But the other ones where it's like, you should have done, you should have helped this weird slime monster find its, its partner in life. I'm like, how am I supposed to know how to do that? Like, how am I supposed to know? Also, Apparently, Rick is incapable of sucking stuff up like Kirby does, but that animation is very cute. <laughs> I can't, I can't take that seriously. Yeah, but apparently that's not. Oh, I gotta be careful. I'm actually kind of low on health. What else is new? Kirby will have to. Ooh, that was close too. Kirby will have to. Oh, see, Kirk, Rick can do it. What's going? What kind? What kind of nonsense is this? Maybe I just gotta get closer. I don't know. Oh, these are cute. I look like rabbit crap. Ooh boy, this is. Mm. Things are not going well. I don't know. I feel like the Rick. Oh, that's amazing. Oh please, I did not know this was a thing, and I love it. Look at this. Oh, it's perfect for this. Just destroying everything in my way. Oh, I feel so powerful right now. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Come on, Kirby, go. It's like me when I'm trying to finish out a workout and just crank out a few. Uh, few more steps or oh no oh that's the best way to die isn't it to get sucked till you die oh no we don't have Rick anymore though boo that's unfortunate I'm sorry everybody can, can Kirby just roll okay never mind I thought this was gonna be way worse but for some reason this game does just not kind of follow the laws of physics I mean it kind of gets the whole gravity thing but not like inertia and momentum. Like that part is just like, nah. That doesn't exist in Dreamland. Something else that I think was interesting, and this is in relation to an old Let's Play, is Link's Awakening. I was reading something today which I thought was really interesting. It's a website that just kind of breaks down games and different, uh, 
different things that happen with that. Ooh, this guy looks kind of nasty. Looks like a little caveman. And it was talking about how I was confused for the longest time why Kirby was a was a random enemy that you would find in Eagle's Tower. And I didn't understand. I was like, why Kirby? And then I thought, oh, it's a game about dreams. Dreamland. Oh, he, oh, he's like a baseball player. Oh. Oh, that's amazing. That's a, that's a cute little spray. But anyway, yeah. It's a dreamland. Kirby's dreamland. Link's Awakening takes place in the land of dreams. So, it's only taken me decades to figure that out. So, there's that. But isn't that kind of fun? Real good, uh... Whatever you want to call that. Kind of, um... Contextually appropriate. Which is something I've been told I never am. So there's that. Oh, we can even just smack our breath back at us. That's not fun. Okay. This level itself has taken me quite a heck and while to finish. My goodness, this is going to be a long episode if I don't hurry up. This is what I get for Rimble Ramblin'. I notice that I do that sometimes, but it's for your health. Here at DMIC Industries, we pride ourselves on knowing that the things I say are mood stabilizers. Did we do it? Did we help this guy? We did! Okay. So here it is, everybody. I learned how to do some of this. Apparently, the different critters... Oh, awesome. I don't know how to do this yet, though. The different critters have different stipulations for what they want as, like help. So you get a little star thing. <gasps> oh yeah, this is the song from the, um, whatever. Yeah. Isn't this great? This makes me think of Super Smash Bros. the original one. For, uh, Super Nin- nope. Super, <laughs> Super Nintendo is not when Super Smash Bros. came out. Nintendo 64! I need to get one of these, one of these ladies here. Come here. Oh, can I have you? Kind of inappropriate. Ladies, anyway. So the stipulation for this one, as you saw in the last one, there was a, uh, there's a mushroom. And we had to squish the tulips, but not sit on that big mushroom. Ooh, we get owl and, uh, see, octopus girl just kind of sucks. I'm sorry. Ku, kind, Rick, superior, in every way. Look how fast this guy is. Look at him. Look at him go. Get him. Yeah. Also, you can, you can smash his head. That's kind of ridiculous. It looks, it looks, that looks really painful, but we're having a good time. He's not having a good time. I'm having a good time. Kind of, he smells like a parasol almost. Okay. So this one, the character that we're trying to be helping, I haven't seen it yet. It's like a, it looks like a bird, I think. Oops. Or maybe it's not a bird. I don't know. I haven't seen it yet. Is it this thing? No. Okay. So we're doing great. This sounds... See, when you watch these videos of mine, there's probably people thinking like, wow, he's being really suspenseful when he's trying to tease stuff. That's not intentional. Uh, most of the time, I really don't know what I'm doing. Or, case in point, when I get killed by tarantulas. Get sucked out of their gross web, splattered in their goo. I will say, though, Apologize for those who have arachnophobia, but I don't. And I think spiders are real nice and they're just trying to help out. They're just being bros. I mean, like, think about it. Gnats, flies, mosquitoes. No one likes those. No one likes those. And if you do, you crazy. So no one likes those. Oh, I don't know if I'm, oh, maybe I can. So no one likes those. You need, you need broom power up for this, by the way. So no one likes those nasty buggers and spiders are like, I got your back. Don't even worry about it. Okay, let's see if we can find the, oh here, okay, here we go. So we're supposed to, I don't know if this is what I'm doing, if this is right, but it looks like, I don't even know if that look, I would say that, that's not a bird. It's like a weird smiley face thing. Like the, when emojis were first invented, what it kind of looks like. It said like, you need to sweep up all the dust. I don't know. Does that count? Is that good enough? They look like they're mopping. Should always sweep before you mop. Okay. So I don't know if that did anything. I don't know. If, oh, oh, that was rude. I don't know if anything that's being done here is being done remotely correctly. So just bear with me, everybody. 
Oh, it's a spider. See? Speaking of spiders, spoiler. Remember, used to watch some of that uh, kind of offshoot, like that NBA Jam stuff, whatever it was called, where they would have people do like dunk contests and stuff. I remember there was a guy named Spider, and I uh, just like the way the guy said that. The announcer. Spider! I bet if spiders had the ability to be sentient enough, I bet they would love basketball. Think about it. I'm not sure what these are, these little blueberries. But I'm just trying to get the H out of here because this level is very slippery. So maybe somebody slathered some goo all over this area. I'm going to try to clean it up with my broom. Oh, this is like the speed that I would normally like Kirby to be able to walk. I almost have a, a new life. There it is. Hey, here at Demic Industries, get a life. All right, and these weird kind of spooky helicopter boys. Okay. Kirby is just so slow. I'm walking in sand. That would, that would help. These these little like uh, waffle cone spots. Them are pretty fast. I like that. Here, Demic Industries. English is optional. Okay. There's a maximum tomato if you need it. Maybe you just want an episode, of, or an episode, an issue of maximum, whatever you're into. Oh yeah, this is cool. I like this. Speed run. I'm actually not trying to speed run, but these levels are ridiculous. Oh, these like Waddle Dees that are dead or like genies or something. What is happening? This episode brought to you by what the heck? Okay, I'm just trying to get out of here. These weird gosh dang pterodactyls. Yeah, this one, this one. And these don't hurt me? Somehow, okay, they do if they, if they take me from behind. That's okay, we're gonna sweep that under the rug. Pretend it never happened. Did we do, did we do it? Did we help? No, okay, so I have no idea what, I, what I'm supposed to do. This game is an absolute enigma. We'll take large star, which is one full star, I think. That's what that looks like. All right, and this is the bird. Okay, this is the weird chancy looking thing. Okay, so here we go. Ow. Got a bone to pick with you, sir. Okay. So in this one, this is another one of those mini game types. Oh, I'm just doing great. I'm gonna die a multitude of times in this episode, apparently. Just not really being careful at all. And I wish this was a game like some of the uh, previous Kirby's were, if you had two powers at the same time, it would kind of combine them into something neat. Oh boy, oh. Ooh, we are hitting rock bottom, I tell you what. Okay, so right back to the beginning of the level was exactly what I wanted to do. Ooh, did you see that sweet MLG Pro Dodge? You're welcome. That was epic. Haven't said that in a while. Here at Demike Industries. Can't spell Demike Industries without epic. I don't know if you can. Maybe you can. Maybe you can't. Team Mike Industry. There's no P, so maybe not. Team Mike Industries Incorporated. Huh? Incorporated. There it is. You're welcome. Here, Team Mike Industries. We pride ourselves on the alphabet. Okay. I don't want. Eh, I don't mind little bird. What's the right side? I saw there was kind in the middle one. Eh, Octopus Girl sucks. All right, we already used Big Bird. Please don't sue me, Assessment Street. I will use Little Bird. Still don't really know why they needed to include two separate bird characters, but they did. That was a creative choice. Oh, ooh, I didn't know it did that. It's amazing. It's like a boomerang. Boomerangs and kangaroos. That's what you find in Australia. Oh, okay. This area sucks. Not a huge fan of these weird kind of thwomps going on. These crabs are cute. Not, not the kind of crab I'd, you know, want to mess around with, but there are worse kinds of crabs. All right. Weird is eating damage today. This is not a level built around self-preservation. And I don't think any of these little, like, Floppy things. These phallic looking things. I don't think any of those are an impact on the helping the the final person 
Oh, we are just hanging on by a feather. Oh boy. All right, come on. I just need to get out of here. Oh, don't give me that. Please don't start me at the beginning. This is already a long video. It's like a Super Nintendo Sunday's double feature. It's not meant to be. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, I guess I just don't really have a whole lot of like understanding of where hitboxes are and like what I can and can't hit. Look how floppy these things are. Floppy rod. Bloing, bloing, bloing. Isn't that great? We're having fun. We're doing good. We're living the dream. Land. <laughs> okay. Whoop. Okay. Doing okay. So far, so good. Yeah, I think... I gotta remember, I gotta think when this episode is gonna come out. Because this is the... I believe this is the first Super Nintendo Sundays of the new year. This is exciting. Okay. That was rude. Happy New Year! Let's hope that 2022 is a good one. Twenty twenty two two. You can finally now have a clock that, if you're using military time, twenty twenty. You can have two 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 two. That's fun. All these fiery boys here, very cute little designs. I don't really know what these little critters are on the floor. All right, here we go. He's got gum. Uh, ooh, I didn't even look. Oh boy. I want to say three? That was four. Oops! Good math! My bad. How many- how many- Oh, is it just one shot and you're- and you're just done? Okay, so I- I failed the minigame. The one that I- The one that I actually knew was coming. I failed. Here, Dimic Industries. Counting. It's something we will figure out in the year 2023. Oh! Also, not dying. I've died a ton in this episode. What is happening? We're losing our edge. We were doing so well at this game. I haven't died once except for this episode. No problems whatsoever. This is, uh... This has been an abject train wreck. Get away from me. I'm just gonna flame on my way through the end of this one. Oh, there's a little... Oh, there's hot lava right there. These weird, like, Waddle Dee ghosts. They're kind of sad. Or maybe they're genies. I can't tell. But I don't like them. They're spoopy. Get away from me. Oh, you can blow up their pot. Hey, man. What are you doing with my pot? I would just like to be done with this episode. Because this stuff is weirding me out. That doesn't even give me a power-up. That's lame. I should probably start collecting stars, though. I'm chewing through my lives. None of these enemies give any sort of... any power-up. This is lame. Come on, Dreamland. Ooh. These little sand things. They do force you down a little bit with the gravity. That's good programming. I think these guys might give you the, the needle power-up. Or parasol. Yeah, that would make sense. Why would it be the needle power-up if they are... they themselves are hanging out with, like, umbrellas? I don't know. We're just making stuff up. I goofed. Mr. McChicken, I goofed. I'm sorry. And I don't know how to do this. I thought that it'd be like, when Kirby puts his arms up, like, the further he goes, the further it goes? I don't know. But, hey, I got one. So I'll try better next time. But thanks for watching, everybody. Happy New Year! Hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Kirby's Dream Land 3. I've been D-Mike, this has been Super Nintendo Sundays, and I'll see you next time. Bye!